Zootopia. Out of all the animated films released in 2016 that stars talking animals, Zootopia seems to really stand out from the rest, considering how this is the first in a long time to have a cast of nothing but anthropomorphic animals. By Disney. Of course, they created their business with Mickey and the gang, and often feature anthropomorphic animal characters in their movies, from the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, to Alice in Wonderland, to the rescuers. It wasn't until Robin Hood, and technically the Great Mouse Detective, that they made a film that has an entire cast of it. But now, for the first time ever, Disney will be taking these anthropomorphic animals into computer animated feature- NO! SHUT UP! THAT MOVIE DOESN'T EXIST! So now that Disney is bringing us to the world of sentient animals, will this be a landmark moment like the first bunny officer? Or is this as fun as waiting at the DMV? Let's find out. The Story The message that this movie tries to say is to not judge a book by its cover, and even with some limitations, you're still able to go far in life. This is exactly the best way to describe the story. At first, the movie seems to be this buddy cop film with a passionate cop bunny and a con artist fox trying to solve a case that ends up being as big as Zootopia itself. Surprisingly, it keeps itself at a quick and steady pace, giving a good amount of chase scenes for the movie to be exciting, but it does give the main focus to the story about the case and the development that Judy Hopps has to go through, rather it be the pressure of the case itself or how everybody is discriminating her at the police force. ZPD's first rabbit officer, Judy Hopps. You ready to make the world a better place? As the movie would go on though, it becomes even bigger than you can ever imagine. Suddenly, it becomes this very clever commentary about prejudice and bigotry by using Predator and Prey as the movie's metaphorical example. In a way, it's pretty shocking that an animated feature would have the balls to go into such a deep and serious issue, especially one coming from Disney. Luckily, it delivers it in such a great way that makes the movie strong, believable, and I'm sure for many, relatable. On top of that, I have to give it kudos for being released at the perfect time during the 2016 US presidential elections, where some candidates are actually using fear, prejudice, and bigotry in order to gain voters. But that's only half of what this movie has to offer. In terms of concept, this movie makes sure it explores every bit of the ideas it has, not just the city of Zootopia itself, but how the world of anthropomorphic animals work, from their origins as actual animals that we know, the way that they live among each other, the little things that are slightly adjusted to fit more the accommodation of the animals, how the animals keep some of their instincts and functions, even if they still act human, and many more. The story is like nothing you would ever expect coming from Disney, yet this could be among some of their best writing. The Animation I already mentioned how this movie manages to explore every bit of its concept of a world of talking animals. This also applies to the animation. I just have to start with this right now. This is probably some of the best production design and background animation ever produced for an animated feature. It leaves no stone unturned, showing every area of Zootopia and use the parts to their advantage in order to present not only how the characters go through the different parts to solve the case, but also show how the animals live in their respective areas. On top of that, there's also the huge amount of detail that's been cleverly put everywhere in order to present this unique civilization. This is not just your ordinary city, but the people happen to be sentient animals. Oh, no, 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 no. Every element, big and small, in Zootopia has been thought out. But it's not just the big city that the animators did an amazing job at. There are also the characters. In terms of their design, they still hold the classic Disney style, but also have the size and traits of their respective animals while being presented more human at the same time. As for their animation, not only is this very well crafted by being both smooth and energetic, but also each animal has their own unique set of movements, from the way the elephants use their trunks, how Judy shows her emotions with her ears, the way the animals act entirely like animals when they go savage, the slow pacing of the sloth, the list goes on. 
Now, when you combine all these elements, imagine how the action scenes would play out. It becomes a perfect symphony of creativity and intensity. And even when they're not action scenes, the movie delivers what could eventually be highlights of the art of computer animation. Just when you think the people at Disney are the masters of their own craft, they still somehow find ways to push animation to whole new levels. The Characters If the crew spent so much time and thought on crafting the world of Zootopia, it shouldn't be a surprise that some of the effort was put onto the development of the characters. With the main ones like Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, the movie looks deep into who they are in order to fully explain themselves and the trials and tribulations they have to go through in order to either just live in Zootopia, whatever Nick can, or Judy achieving her dreams despite the discrimination she gets all around her. This would result in Nick being the smart Alex sly con artist who can talk his way out of anything, well, actually for the most part, and Judy being the dreamer whose passion and determination is what drives her to break all expectations from a bunny cop. Also, the chemistry they have is a strong point of this film, capable of carrying the emotions and some entertainment that the film offers. For the rest of the characters like Chief Bogo, Clawhauser, Mayor Lionheart, Mr. Big, Gazelle, and many more, the movie not only presents who they are as characters, but also make them useful and have a purpose by putting Judy and Nick one step closer to solve the big case or to put them in a bad situation. On top of that, many of them like Yaks and Flash are the reason why this movie has some very clever comedy. They do help bring in some extra enjoyable entertainment. There is one that I'd rather not say for spoiler reasons, but it does seem like now it's a tradition since Wreck-It Ralph that it has a surprise twist villain. Admittedly, in here, it works pretty well and it does make the prejudice commentary more effective. If there is one more thing I'd like to add, it's that I can totally see Judy Hopps as a role model and in many ways, she does feel pretty admirable. She wants to break the mold of how people perceive bunnies and pursue her dreams in order to become a cop at Zootopia. Even when she reaches it, she is still fighting to prove the discriminations wrong and go far and wide to make her environment a better place to live. It's not about how badly you want something, it's about what you are capable of. I am a real cop. Never let them see that they get to you, you bunnies. <laughs> so emotional. I can guarantee you that many will look up to Judy for this. With such a large cast of characters, it's no wonder that it has to take the people from Disney in order to make them all both lovable and memorable. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Before seeing it, I never really thought much of Zootopia. I was expecting this movie to be pretty good, but more of Disney's side project and Moana would become the big Disney movie of 2016. Kind of like what the good dinosaur is to Inside Out. But never would I go in and expect this to be among one of Disney's greatest films they have ever made. Zootopia is the perfect example of how Walt Disney Animation Studios has fully evolved in the new millennium. From one of their low points with Chicken Little, to 11 years later at the top of their game with this. By offering an amazing concept that takes the talking animals trope to a whole new level, an engagingly fascinating story, the best computer animation for Disney, unforgettable characters, and a powerful message against prejudice and discrimination, this is not only one of their best, but also their smartest animated film. This is one of those movies you have to go see no matter what. Although, funny enough, there are many who say that, considering the social commentary it contains, this animated feature by Disney could be geared more towards adults because kids might not fully get what it's trying to say. No doubt about it that it gets the Animat seal of approval, but it took me a lot of thinking regarding its rating. I almost would never do something like this, like ever, but for a movie of this caliber, I think it's time to make a milestone here.